FBI, FAA, and U.S. Air Force are investigating a mystery in the skies over Colorado and Nebraska, where swarms of drones have been spotted, sometimes in formation. But who's flying them? People are starting to get angry, demanding the truth and threatening to grab their guns. The local government has to tell people to not shoot the drones. professional video editing software and decided to just upload the videos from the Facebook group to my computer so I could edit the brightness and see if there was anything else to be seen. What I saw were not drones. They weren't craft of any kind. Instead, they looked like pure light pure energy. Jinn comes from the word jana, and jana means that which is concealed. So jinn means that which is hidden, that which is concealed. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in Surah Ar-Rahman, وَخَلَقَ الْجَانَّ مِن مَارِ جِمْ مِن نَارِ And he created the jinn from a smokeless flame of fire. Is the corner of the flames that you have all the different colors, the red and the green and the blue and the orange and the yellow. I shared my findings with the group, but most people just laugh and call me Not only are these lights real, but they have repeatedly demonstrated a want and an ability to shut down nuclear missiles. Minutes later, the FSC phoned again and reported in a very agitated state that there was a large oval-shaped object hovering above the front gate. It was a, a red pulsating lighted object approximately 30, 40 feet in diameter, uh, the best he could describe it. It was, um, uh, it was difficult to distinguish a structural part of it on the inside, except that it was glowing red, pulsating. Before my commander, our missiles began to shut down. We lost alert status on all 10 missiles while this object was above our facility. The CIA website offers dozens of previously classified documents confirming what others claim. The unexplainable lights make no sound and appear as balls of fire. They fly at high speeds and altitudes around military installations, and they are not attributable to natural phenomena or known types of aerial vehicles. The Tehran government released documents describing lights they thought were secret U.S. military planes, but with characteristics that defy known laws of physics. The document describes flashing strobe lights in a rectangular pattern and alternating blue, green, red, and orange in color. The sequence of the lights was so fast that all the colors could be seen at once. And then another object appeared to come out of the side of the primary object, going straight down at a great rate of speed. The once classified United Kingdom Project Condine report explains official findings. Several aircraft have been destroyed and at least four pilots have been killed chasing UFOs. Russian investigators have measured, or at least detected, fields, which are reported to cause human effects when they are located close to the phenomena. The researchers conclude they don't really know what the lights are, but that they may be due to atmospheric, gaseous, electrically charged, buoyant plasmas. Jin comes from the word jana, and jana means that which is concealed. So jin means that which is hidden, that which is concealed. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in Surah Ar-Rahman وَخَلَقَ الْجَانَّ مِن مَارِ جِمْ مِن نَارِ And he created the jinn from a smokeless flame of fire. Is the corner of the flames that you have all the different colors, the red and the green and the blue and the orange and the yellow. Ekin Sanderson proposed that the lights could fly in the sky and also in water. He called to them unidentified submarine objects, or USOs. He believed the lights live in our oceans, either evolving there for millions or even billions of years, or, perhaps, they are life forms not from Earth, 
who have inhabited our waters. Iblis throne. So people have been talking about Iblis. Where is he? His throne. The Prophet ﷺ has reported, you know, in a very sound hadith, which is in Muslim, reported by Jabir, that Arsh uh, al-Shaytan, Arsh al-Iblis, ala al-Ma. Arsh al-Iblis, ala al-Ma. The throne of Iblis, the throne of Shaytan, this is the master Shaytan. The master Shaytan. His throne is on water. Where? What water? What ocean? Allahu Ta'ala A'lam. But there are certain indications that could maybe tell us where his throne could be. There's another hadith where it says, Innahu, this is also in, in Muslim, Innahu, عند برزخ الماء. عند برزخ الماء. What's a barzakh? A barzakh, it's like a partition. You know, when you have the sweet water and the salty water, you know, whereby the sweet water does not merge with the salty water that's a barzakh that's a partition in this hadith he says he is on this barzakh his, ash, his throne is on this barzakh his throne is on this barzakh which is again somewhere in, 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 a, in an ocean but there's a whole fleet of look on ASA there are many sources describing unknown objects flying in and out of water. The military pilot who saw the infamous tic-tac-shaped UFO describes the light over the water. 